What's up guys, this is Ashnox. It's time to summon for Sharoon on account number two. Already have the showcase of Sylvan Sage Vivian, so go check it out if you still haven't. Let's start the summoning session. Let's see if I get her artifact. But uh, I just wish I get her, you know, before the pity. That'd be good enough. The artifact, it's okay. I could just roll with a different artifact. So let's begin here. Let's see what... I'm gonna actually get beside Sharoon. And uh, maybe I managed to get the artifact more than one time. Let us know about your luck in the comment section. Did you, uh, I, I know some of you out there guys, like you get those new heroes in one summon. It just happens. It just happens. I think it happened to me like one time only, total. That, that's, that's pretty crazy. Now with the X10, it's not really something that I can pull off because I just do X10 instead of uh, doing like one summon at a time. And of course, I'm sure it happened to a lot of players. You know, X10 and then, you know, you get the, the hero on the first summon or something like that. So this account number two is actually the better one to have this hero on because Sharoon is going to be able to support a you know, high attack hero that could get those random buff uh, that could put those random buff to good use and uh, that's definitely cool now in this video i'm gonna be you know of course summoning but also after that i'm going to power up the hero six star max level and then all plus 15 the skills of Sharoon. give you guys my thoughts about the skill up process like what's the priority and uh, i'll put some gear on her i'll talk about different builds and how i'm going to actually well build the hero use the hero and all that and I'll have the uh, showcase of Sharoon right after this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. But you should not be summoning for this hero because there's a limited hero coming out uh, next week. So we're gonna know, you know, uh, the, the skills of uh, Summer Break Charlotte. And usually limited heroes are very good. They're OP. Maybe not all of them, but at least you can usually use these heroes in multiple places in the game uh there's going to be you know you're going to be able to use that hero in multiple different play styles it's not going to be so specific so yes usually limited heroes are, are pretty dang good so you should definitely be saving your covenant bookmarks especially if you're low i mean if you're low it's like it's not even a question just save your bookmarks we don't know her skill set yet but it should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. A Sharoon is definitely not the type of hero that everyone's going to be able to just use. And, you know, use properly and all that. Because you got to land the Venom debuff. Venom is a new debuff and nice. I don't know if it's her artifact though. Venom is definitely strong. It's versus heroes. Cool, cool. And uh, it deals 10% of the hero's maximum health. It also, you know, inflicts injury. Uh, she can deal with immunity, but there's so many different resist checks that you have to worry about, and that's problematic. Her skill 1, if Venom's on the target, she actually can apply Venom with the skill number 1. And then she can put the skill of the target on cooldown. Uh, that is definitely strong, a very powerful skill number 1. The big thing is that you need to land those Venom, so very high effect resistance heroes, it's not gonna work. You're gonna, you're gonna have to fight against that using very high effectiveness on her. And if you're putting so many points into effectiveness, well, uh, you are not going to have so many uh, other stats left. Well, for the other stats, so many stat points left. So here we're going for the pity. I'm okay with it because I actually got her artifact. So that is pretty cool right there. So here we go with the guarantee. So yeah, I want to pair her with a hero, an attack-based hero that is quite tanky. You know, it could be... a. Uh, Apocalypse Ravi, which is very, very strong uh, right now in the meta. I want to pair her with uh, Arc Demon's Shadow. Um, I have some other heroes, of course, on this account that are built and that could be a great duo. Uh, a good combo together, like Rimuru as well, could be quite strong. So, yeah, Sharoon, let me just grab her and uh, I'll start to power her up. All right, let's just grab her here and also let's grab her artifact. 
So other heroes I want to pair her with are heroes that I have built on this account like Milim. Uh, it could be interesting. Uh, there's also there is also Seaside Bellona. No, Seaside Bellona, very powerful limited hero still. Also Carrot. It could be interesting combos together. Uh, so let me just start and level her up here. So real quick. Let's bring her to 6 star. I don't have the materials. Hey, okay. So uh, I'm going to have to get two more 5 star going. All right. Can 6 star her. Let's do it up here. And uh, I hope I have the catalyst. If I don't, I have all these uh, boxes where I can choose the catalyst that I want. So I have some unknown slate, to be honest. That is pretty good. But this is not a Moonlight hero, so I don't think I'm going to actually activate that. So let's bring her to max level. Okay, very nice. Now Awakening. Looks good here. Let's do all this. So my plan with this hero is to, you know, stack the layers of protection on the team. Run a turn 2 team. I actually hit a billion on my second account. Look at that. Like, I didn't even notice before. I was wondering if I actually had two accounts now with over 1 billion gold. And here we go. A billion gold on the second one. I think... Yeah. It didn't happen this recently cuz you know 16 million gold doesn't take uh doesn't take a day to get. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll have uh, actually account number 4 is like 800 million. Next goal is 2 million after every account is like a, at a billion basically. Oh my god. It's going to take forever. So yeah, Sharoon, the way I'm going to be using her is very tanky team. Turn to take all the damage coming my way and just retaliate. And I'm thinking Sharoon on counter set could be real nice because of her skill number one with the Venom and skill increase. It could be quite deadly. So now that we have her awakened, it's time for the skill up. Okay, so looks like I'm good in the department of the skill ups. In terms of priority, what is the most important thing is that skill number 3 is quite powerful. Barrier Strength, I mean, you can get 30% Barrier Strength increase from the skill ups. I would probably go with the uh, 1 Mola ones, but here the minus 1 turn cooldown is quite important because, you know, that skill 3 is, uh, is very good. It's very good, assuming you're able to remove immunity off of the enemy and you apply the Venom. You know, you also have the speed down for two turns. The combat unit has pushed for herself. That means she's going to be that much uh, closer to go again. So, yeah, it's definitely good. So, four turn cooldown on this. So, it's basically 3.5 turn cooldown. Definitely good. And, uh, you know, you're going to be able to use skill one against targets that have Venom on them already. Or you just apply Venom and it puts the skill on cooldown. It's going to be double resist checks. Sadly, but here you need to increase the effect chance on this. It's only one with 10%, so 75% chance. Not too shabby. And uh, of course, one mola barrier in increase, 15%. So, you know, a 3 3 3 build would be quite strong. And in terms of damage, I mean, I guess I'll have to try her out. I I'm bringing this hero to plus 15, right? So we'll see what she's able to do. But to be honest, in most cases, players will not be maxing this hero. You want to max skill number two. Because barrier strike is actually what's going to help your team. You made to stay alive. The damage out of her, I don't think it's going to be good. Because as you can see here, this doesn't even scale based on her maximum health. And uh, this is going to be a hero that will need so much effectiveness. It's going to be hard to like have a lot of like survivability on her. I mean, you could have some pretty good survivability. I'm just saying that you need to invest quite a bit into effectiveness. And you need to have quite a bit of speed as well. Because you need her to get multiple turns during the course of the battle. You want her to just keep putting pressure with those Venom. 
and uh, that means it's it's quite a few stats already health defense you know uh, speed and effectiveness big priority on that and uh, it doesn't scale off of uh, maximum health her damage so that means like what you're gonna push her attack you're gonna build crit crit damage on her no nah, damage is gonna be pretty bad but maybe the multiplier is okay so you know since i'm doing 50 plus 15 builds all over the place definitely uh definitely sad about these skill ups here but i'm gonna i'm gonna test her we'll see the actual damage that she's able to do okay so there we have it plus 15 how many mola do i have left i'm good uh, i'm good Sharoon is gonna be a hero that i'm gonna build on just one account maybe two max you know in the next year or something like that so we have her here maxed out we can see her base stats or as follow you can see the defense is very high 720 that is pretty crazy right there 106 speed good she get she needs to get a lot of turns get those venoms to get applied remove immunity and uh put skill on cooldown that'd be good if she can actually pull that off now 18 percent effectiveness that's pretty uh good you you want an awakening like that when you rely a lot on effectiveness that is definitely good to see and her imprint of course effectiveness for herself and health for top and front so let me put some gear on her and we'll see what kind of stats she has and uh i'll talk about uh you know other ways to build this hero all right guys here's my sharoon on counter hit set i don't feel comfortable with immunity because i don't feel like i have enough effectiveness yes uh, i'm using her own artifact it does give 22.5 percent effectiveness at plus 15 that's gonna bring me you know above 200 percent which is good which is good but a hit set you know that's allowing me to get an extra 20 percent but also having an effectiveness main stat ring look at this beauty this thing was in my inventory i was enhancing it and i'm like wow is this for real i rolled speed four times so it was 14 speed i you know uh reforged it and it became 18 speed uh, that that is pretty crazy pretty crazy 18 speed on this thing it's hard to get those type of pieces now i do have 208 speed i am running speed main boots and uh that's pretty good for a counter set yeah i, I think that's pretty good i had to uh re-roll the first line here we got effectiveness and here i can yeah i could re-roll the critical hit damage I, I don't need to worry about crit crit damage to be honest uh, I could get some flat health, right? And uh, here, sadly, I can't reroll the crit chance, but it's okay. Defense percentage, more survivability, big flat health on this thing. Uh, this is good. This is definitely good uh, stuff right here. Pretty much every substat that you want to see are on these uh, two pieces right there. Accessible to everyone uh, to get these pieces, right? And uh, this, this uh, weapon as well. Everyone can get this weapon. Of course variation based on uh, the rolling for all pieces but uh, that's that's the type of items that uh, i feel would work really well for her you know you want to boost your survivability you want to have a lot of effectiveness and uh, speed you want her to gain as many turns as possible but still having her on counter with her own artifact allowing her to, uh, to actually boost the combatness of the ally with the highest attack in the team you know it adds up if you get lucky with counter attacks that could be pretty nice and uh yeah i mean she could technically cut she she can cut if you get lucky if the enemy has a lot of buffs with her passive and then you could also have um yeah i mean if the enemy does need to attack your team but maybe your your attack your damage dealer is going to be able to cut uh, a few times in the battle because of uh, this artifact but it's a lot of luck involved because it's a counter set right the counter set also her survivability it's it's not that amazing to to be honest like I, I would feel comfortable more comfortable with something like instead of effectiveness here on the main stat i'd be rolling something like defense percentage because she's got 720 base defense guys that that's completely ridiculous 
if you can get at least at least get some a big amount of defense percentage on her sub stats but maybe uh i wouldn't run defense percentage on uh, you know if you're going to be running speed uh, effectiveness and the third one you know yes you could be running defense percentage but i feel like her health is just going to drop too much and then hit that penetrates defense by a lot will just take her down so easy if you don't have that much health if she gets defense broken she's just gonna drop like a fly but at least if you build some uh, maximum health on her uh, she'll end up with better survivability uh, but yes if i could drop that effectiveness and have defense percentage here if i could have maybe some imprints for more effectiveness and just have more effectiveness on my substats right that could be better, I think. I think because she's just gonna get focused down, and she's gonna get murdered, man. She's gonna get murdered. But at least like she's gonna be able to drop her skill number three. Maybe you get luck out with counter attack, and maybe you're able to keep her alive, especially if you get the defense buff on her. If you have Orius in the team, right? That could uh, that could allow her to stay alive longer. And if you have some healing as well, if you have maybe barrier. Now this passive, this passive is quite nice. You know, at the end of the turn, grants a random buff and a bear to the ally except the caster with the highest attack for one turn. So once again, the speed is a big deal because it's a random buff, right? But you know, there's a lot of heroes that can put all of these buffs to good use. So that's, that's good. And the barrier is going to be focused on your ally with the highest maximum health, which means like they could be built more squishy. Maybe they be built with more defense putting that bear to even better use uh so there's a lot of really nice stuff that you're able to do with uh, all this and i mean this passive is pretty loaded to be honest like the chance to cut five percent per buff on the enemy so team that stacks a lot of buffs will allow you to just have a much better chance to actually get that 20 percent cr push and the barrier does scale based on her maximum health as well so I guess that that's a good reason why you should have health percentage here. You're going to be running speed, effectiveness, and then here health percentage. But to be honest, like she gets so much value out of defense because 720 defense base is insane, right? Uh, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. Other builds for her, of course, you could have her on a, on a speed build. You could have her on speed immunity. You could definitely have her on counter immunity counter hit speed hit that works as well whatever uh feel more comfortable for you to be honest i'm gonna be running designer a little bit in teams with her if the enemy has a lot of debuffs i'll um, i'll deal with the debuffs right that's why i'm running her on hit as well i do have a few tools at my disposal meteor Rick. like you know i can deal with debuffs at least that's that but if you are in desperate need of immunity because like debuffs are like the bane of your existence or something like that, then yes, you should go with immunity. Uh, I think like 200% uh, effectiveness should be okay, but you still have to worry about evasion-based heroes, you know, 15% NH resist. You, knew, you need to remove immunity before you can actually apply a speed down in Venom. So if you fail to remove immunity, then... That's a fail to apply uh, speed down or venom, right? So that that is sad when that happens. So there's a lot of resist checks, and it's gonna be rough, especially if there's a fire hero against you. Uh, quite a few things to uh, keep into uh, consideration. Also, water's origin could be pretty sweet on her because I mean, especially if she's softer and if you're opting for even more speed, maybe more effectiveness, not that much survivability. Water's origin is gonna provide so much survivability for you, and she's gonna be cycling faster as well. So, you know, I mean, you could be running Celestine on her as well on counter. That's definitely a viable one. So there's there's a few you know solid Soul Weaver artifacts. Let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. Definitely stay tuned for the showcase after this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashnox. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe if you still haven't. Peace out for now.